Hello everyone, in this video we will be discussing in detail about enzyme inhibition. Okay, so what is enzyme inhibition? So far in our previous videos we have discussed about the mechanism of enzyme uh, substrate uh, or mechanism of enzyme action, how enzyme reacts with the substrate and how they form enzyme substrate complex and how they form a product, right. So there are some substances like some products or uh, sorry some inhibitors which inhibit uh, which interfere with the enzyme substrate complex or uh, that uh, try to uh, combine with the enzyme okay and stops the product formation. So any substance that can any substance that can diminish the velocity of enzyme reaction is called inhibitor that means so when substance is go and binds to the enzyme so the velocity of reaction will be forwarded and it will be increased okay until the product will be forming so but in case of inhibitor okay what they do in case of substrate they will go and bind to the enzyme and they decrease the velocity of the enzyme reaction so that's why they inhibit the reaction right so there are two types of inhibitors reversible inhibitor and uh, what is the effect it causes reversible inhibition and irreversible inhibitor that means uh, though you have inhibit the reaction you can reverse it okay you can reverse the uh, if you remove the inhibitor the enzyme reaction will be normal but in case of irreversible inhibitor if this inhibitor goes and binds to the enzyme the reaction cannot be processed further and if though if you remove uh, the inhibitor from the enzyme there will be deactivation of enzyme there will be uh, no occurrence of a reaction further okay so the uh, the mechanism is like irreversible inhibition so as to say as inhibitors play major role in enzyme inhibition so there are different types are there based on the type of inhibitor okay reversible inhibition and irreversible inhibition right so majorly enzyme inhibition is of two types reversible and irreversible so reversible again of three types subcategorized competitive or substrate analog competitive or substrate that means here the inhibitor is similar to the shape of substrate so enzyme doesn't know the difference between inhibitor and substrate so by mistaken it will go and bind to the inhibitor and forms a enzyme inhibitor complex okay so that's why it is a competitive or there is a competition between substrate and inhibitor to bind go and bind with the enzyme and non-competitive because here inhibitor is not at all in substrate analog to I mean like it is not in similar in shape to the substrate but somehow it will go and bind okay there is no competition between uh, substrate and uh, inhibitor but still it is having a uh, major effects uh, inhibiting the reaction and non-competitive other than uh, active site of the enzyme inhibitor will go and bind and uh, deactivates the enzyme substrate complex okay enzyme substrate complex irreversible coming to talk about the irreversible so like uh, once inhibitor goes and binds that enzyme will be like uh, totally gone right so examples like suicide uh, inhibition group specific inhibition and reactive substrate analog like affinity affinity inhibition affinity based inhibition so we'll discuss one after the other reversible inhibition so reversible inhibition is like it binds to the enzyme through non-covalent bonds like hydrogen bonds hydrophobic interactions van der Waals forces electrostatic inter interactions so and activity of enzyme is restored fully when inhibitor is removed so that is advantage of this inhibition so though there is a what to say inhibitor goes and binds to the enzyme okay so uh, there is stoppage of the reaction okay once if you remove this inhibitor substrate will go and bind and reaction further proceeds and there are different types of reversible inhibitions like uh, competitive inhibition and substrate uh, analog inhibition so non-competitive inhibition uh, and uncompetitive inhibition i'll tell you the difference what is competitive inhibition what is non-competitive inhibition and what is uncompetitive inhibition so with the name itself you can make out competitive inhibition or substrate analog substrate means here inhibitor is similar in shape with the substrate a competitive inhibitor is structural analog of the substrate and the chemical structure of inhibitor resembles that of substrate and binds to enzyme to active site so we are all aware 
where the substrate will go and bind to the enzyme it go and bind to the active site of the enzyme so here there is a huge competition between inhibitor and substrate to go and bind with the active site of the enzyme so in competitive or substrate analog inhibition okay uh, the inhibitor will go and bind to the free enzyme okay so to see here enzyme plus substrate okay or an inhibitor right so to say it forming enzyme substrate complex and then enzyme plus products so here this is also have a competition this also have competition to bind with the enzyme so what happens this inhibitor will go and bind will form enzyme inhibitor complex and there is no product so this way it will work you see here competitive so inhibitor is also similar in shape with the if you see the picture okay substrate and inhibitor both are in relation with the shape right so enzyme doesn't know the difference between substrate and inhibitor so whoever comes first it will take it and it will forms a complex okay if substrate is coming first it will form enzyme substrate complex okay and if it is uh, a forming product okay but here when inhibitor goes and bind it forms an enzyme inhibitor complex and there is no reaction further so this process is inhibited and there is no product okay there is no product and the inhibition could be overcome by increasing substrate concentration that means as i said there is a huge competition between substrate and inhibitor towards the enzyme so if you want to reverse this inhibition you have to increase the substrate concentration so if you increase the substrate concentration okay so more substrate available so enzyme prefers to bind with the substrate rather than to the inhibitor so you can see here succinate okay and fumarate so malonate uh, the enzyme is succinate dehydrogenase okay so the enzyme is succinate dehydrogenase what happens succinate and malonate both are structurally similar okay only the difference is one ch2 group okay one ch2 group so succinate dehydrogenase doesn't know the difference between succinate and malonate so when malonate is available okay this malonate will go and bind to the succinate dehydrogenase and there is no formation of fumarate okay so this is the type so once if you remove malonate again the succinate dehydrogenase goes to succinate if you remove if you increase the succinate concentration okay malonate will be removed from sdh and succinate will be converted to fumarate so coming to the enzyme kinetics that's what what is the importance of uh, discussing enzyme kinetics so different enzyme reactions are available okay with the help of enzyme kinetics different enzyme uh, activities and their behavior you can assess right so as in our previous video we discussed about the uh, lean weaver burg plot or double reciprocal plot so it is very advanced uh, it is very big advantage to study the types of inhibition with this plot okay so in presence of you see here uh, green color and red color i have mentioned here so without inhibitor okay in in presence of substrate okay how the reaction is taking place okay so this is the normal 1 km and uh, uh, this is the v max half v max okay 1 v max but in case of competitive inhibitor so km value will be increased in case of uh, uh, reversible inhibition km value increased and vmax unaltered it's neutral okay vmax is unaltered drugs so a treatment of like various disorders so the drugs are mainly in reaction with the competitive inhibition okay the drugs act as a competitive inhibitor so examples i can give here sulfonamide this is an uh, analog of para amino benzoic acid and inhibitor since of folic acid so we're all aware folic acid is required for making of uh, genetic material dna okay so for that folic acid is essential so the part of folic acid is para amino benzoic acid so in that condition the sulfonamide is similar to para amino benzoic acid it will go and uh, fit to the like uh, folic acid and this sulfonamide induced folic acid like will not be useful in making of dna so that way that microorganism will not survive it will not resynthesize the cells and isoniazid it is a again anti tuberculosis drug inhibits the biosynthesis of nad and restricts the growth of organism that cause tuberculosis okay so isoniazid not only uh, microorganism nad okay but in humans also there is a synthesis of nad from tryptophan so it will inhibit that production also okay so there, there is a huge competition between uh, isoniazid and the 
other substances uh, towards the enzyme which synthesizes. So dicumarol you can say anticoagulant drug it's structurally similar to vitamin K inhibits vitamin K activity and inhibits formation of prothrombin and uh, physostigmine it inhibits acetylcholinesterase and used to treat glaucoma and uh, myasthenia gravis. So these are all the drugs which are acting as a competitive inhibitors to treat these disorders. Okay, and drugs access competitive anti-inflammatory agents like ibuprofen uh, and statin drugs. Cholesterol lowering drugs are competitive inhibitors of enzymes that involved in prostaglandins and cholesterol synthesis respectively.